Hello folks, David Watts back with you with another Luminar 2018 video. Been a little while, but wanted to share a new video based on the newest version of Luminar that was just released today. Today is Friday, April the 13th. And I uh, got the brand new, um, I think they're calling it uh, Luminar 2018 Jupiter version 1.2. One of the big things we hope to see is better performance with raw files, especially loading those files in the beginning. So let's do this. I have not yet installed the newest, latest, greatest version. So let's do a test. Uh, we'll use Luminar 2018, the previous version. And just to be clear, let's make sure we see exactly what version this is. It is 1.1.1. And in terms of the Mac I'm using, I know some of you may be using PCs, but in terms of the Mac I'm using, it's a pretty run-of-the-mill uh, uh, Mac. It's just a, uh, a MacBook Pro late 2013, so getting a little old by now, actually. 8 gig of RAM. Uh, but I think this would be fairly typical of what a lot of us are using. We're not always using the latest, greatest. So let's see real-world experience, uh, what we get. Uh, first, we'll start by loading a RAW file. This will be from a Fuji X-T2. Um, I'll take this file here. Um, it is, let's just compare the, look at the file size super fast. It is a 50 megabyte file. So these are fairly uh, hefty, not the biggest, but uh, reasonable size files. And we'll, uh, for the moment we click open, we'll time it, and then we'll um, install the newest version and uh, try it again and just uh, do some comparisons. Hopefully this is helpful to you as you look at the performance of the new version. So. I think I'm ready to go on this side. Let me just double check and we will click uh, open and uh, get this thing loading. Let's see here. And so one of the things I think we've always known about uh, really the current version of Luminar is that it's a little slower loading the raw files. They are big. It does take a little time. Let's see, we're approaching 15 seconds now and we'll give it time to finish its work. After we load this file, We'll exit out and uh, load just one more, just to make sure. Shouldn't make a difference, but we'll just be uh, extra sure. So we're about 27 seconds. I think we'll see this come in at about 40 seconds. Uh, this file is loading from my local uh, drive. It's not coming across a network or anything that would slow it down unnecessarily. Yep, and so we were about 38 seconds uh, exactly on this image. So let's do this. Uh, we'll close this out. And uh, this time, let's open, uh, we'll open this other raw file. So we have 38 seconds on the first one. We'll just double check and let's go again real quick. And we'll see where this one uh, puts us. Again, what we should be seeing when we get to the newest version is a significant increase in, in loading speed. And so that'll be interesting to see. It's always great to test. You know, we see what the, the publishers of these uh, solutions, the software, what they say. Uh, but real-world testing is, is always good. And we don't always have the latest, greatest with the fastest video cards. Uh, but this will be good. And so we're approaching 27 seconds. And we'll start now looking for this to be done. Probably, up. Oh, that was actually a little faster. So about 32 seconds. So let's say 38 on the first one, uh, the image with the young lady, and 32 on this image. Okay, so now at this point, we'll stop the video and I'll go do some installs and I'll be back in just a moment from your perspective of things. Thanks much and hang tight. Be right back. Oh, and actually, before we go away, one more thing I want to do first before we install that new version. We also see that the uh, export speed, uh, saving to a JPEG, maybe is better. So let's also find out about that. We'll just use this one image. Uh, we'll just make some kind of typical uh, changes just so we're somewhat realistic. We'll do, use the, uh, the Accent AI filter uh, to boost things just a little bit there. Let's add just a little bit of clarity. I'm not going to do anything crazy here. Um, Actually, to be more realistic, let's add just one layer. I don't know that this makes a difference, but let's just find out. And we're going to add another filter here. Let's just do a little bit of tone, for example. And we'll just tweak the, um, tweak the image just slightly. Okay, so let's number one, and let's also do this. Let's measure the save time. And uh, what we're going to do is go down here to pictures and we'll go here. And so let's measure the save time. We're saving the original resource with it and the history. And so we're also going to time this. So we're going to actually do three things. We've done the load. 
We'll do the save as a Luminar file, and we will do the save or the export as a JPEG. So here we go, starting now. And uh, this usually is fairly quick. Yeah, I think that already finished. We'll call that three seconds. Now, let's do an export. And we will do this uh, at original with all kind of standard settings. And uh, we'll start now. And the JPEG does typically take just a little bit longer to process and export. So let's get a good timing on this one. So approaching 10 seconds now. And should be done just a moment. Coming up on 20 seconds. Probably a little longer than I recall, actually. Once you start timing things, sometimes they do seem a little longer. So approaching 27 seconds now. So definitely longer than I recall. So it'll be very interesting to see if, uh, if the newest version makes some improvements in this regard. Actually, 41 seconds. It does take a while to export. And we may, there we go, 54 seconds. So just to recap, um, we had for this image, to load this image raw was 32, to save it as a Luminar file was just three seconds, and then to, uh, to export it was 54 seconds. So we'll make a note of all that, come back and try the same thing uh, with those couple of images with the newest version. So stand by back in just a moment. Okay, back to you folks, we're ready for uh, basically part two of our test. Uh, I've installed Luminar 2018, the newest version, Jupiter version 1.2.0. So uh, let's open uh, a couple of those same files and we'll just do our comparisons. And let's first and foremost go get uh, this raw file. This is the first one we did. It took about 38 seconds under the previous version. And so we'll test it now. Here we go. And hopefully we see something much faster. Okay, and I'm going to count it from the moment. There we go. So I show about 12 seconds. And what I'm doing is I'm counting it from the moment the filters load. Uh, if you have a bunch of filters stacked up on the right, that could maybe change times a little bit. But um, for the moment the filters load, then I view it as ready to, to, to be edited. I do notice in the lower left corner, it still says image processing. So what they may have done is move some things behind the scenes, uh, some background processing. But we can begin working on the image. That's the key thing. The filters work. And that, you know, that to me is significantly faster. So we're at um, 13, excuse me, tw about 12 seconds instead of 38 seconds on that particular image. So I think that's a significant improvement. But let's keep testing real quick. What we'll do is get rid of this one and we'll go to the other image and we'll open that up. It'll be this raw file. We're going to test this one. And so we'll start uh, right now. And again, we'll count it from when the filters load and it seems like we are ready to edit. There we go. So about 10 seconds. Let's just make sure we can truly do a little editing. And with the AI filter, so I do see a little bit of lag here. This probably is doing some background processing. Um, and that may have it slowed down just a bit. But I, you know, I do see basic responsiveness to, uh, to that slider, although it does seem to lag uh, just a little bit. But once it seems like that initial load, there, there must be a little background processing going on. It seems like once that seems to calm down, then it's quite responsive. And we'll just make some other little changes here real quick. And um, certainly seems to be the case. All right, so we'll do what we did before. Let's add a little bit of clarity. Um, and we've just made a few simple tweaks. Let's go up here and add a new adjustment layer. In that new adjustment layer, let's add a tone filter, and we'll just tweak that slightly. Uh, make another little adjustment here, just so we give it something, uh, some sort of work to do. And we're going to save this out. And this was always pretty quick, so the, probably not much doubt on this. We'll save this out 
Um, I'm going to save it as version A. And I think we'll see this is very, very quick. Um, here we go. And like before, about maybe that was four seconds, three or four seconds. That's pretty much what it was before. Now the key test, I think, will be to export it. And again, we'll use the same settings, original, same quality settings, all that good stuff. We'll also call this version A. And we will reset our timer. And here we go. Let's see what sort of times we get. Now, remember, last time we were at uh, about 54 seconds. It's quite substantial. So we're about 10 seconds now. See if our export times improve any with the newest version. And 22 seconds. Clearly a lot of work to be done. Processing those two layers and making the adjustments. And Okay, and we are done. So that was about 30... Three seconds, I'm going to call it. So instead of 54, 33. So uh, pretty good improvements, I would say, all things uh, uh, considered. Whereas uh, we had load times previously of raw files, about 38 and 32 seconds, respectively. This time, with the same images, about 12 and 10 and save time, no significant change. The export time also seems to be much better. So instead of 54 seconds on this image, about 33 seconds. So good improvements. And um, what we'll do is uh, look at some of the other features as we go along and uh, share some of the updates. Uh, we'll see if the raw processing uh, is a little better, not just faster, but if it's better. And there's also supposed to be some lens adjustments, uh, some, some raw sort of lens uh, adjustments that uh, are more automated, that where we really didn't have automatic um, uh, sort of lens adjustments previously. So we'll see about all that in a future video. But thanks for watching and hope this helps you just a little bit. My verdict, definitely faster, substantially faster. That's it for now. Take care. See you.